going to do this yesterday, but long story short, had to wait on, a, wait on an electrician and then I ended up just going back to Home Depot, getting some more supplies and getting a couple of groceries. So now it is officially the day to start working on some stuff and I'm going to start by getting rid of all the textured walls, starting in the kitchen. I'm using this USG all-purpose joint compound. It says it's ideal for skim coating, which is what I'm doing. This is the first, oh, no, I want to show you. Last night I actually was looking at videos on kind of like how to do stairs and at 11.30 at night, this is what I did. I just got super motivated to start taking all the carpet off the stairs. It was really just a curiosity because I wanted to see what was underneath the carpet and I was going to tear up the carpet anyways. So this is what I did last night. I just teared it up. I obviously didn't want to take off all the carpet at like midnight last night, but I just wanted to see what was underneath it. First things first, I gotta get the kitchen all set for the appliances coming in on Saturday. Yeah, it's a day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with the splash one so I can fall. Won't you come on over? We can party till the sun's down. I feel like I look disgusting, but... Okay, so I just finished the first layer. It took about an hour and a half, which... I wouldn't say that's too long. It's definitely smoother, but I need to put on another layer, and then sand it, and then I can paint. So, I'm gonna move on to different walls. Let me buy you a drink while we're dancing a blink. I could go for some queen bait too. Face is going boom boom. My face is a little bit red because I was wearing a respirator because it's a bit dusty. This is my progress so far. I've started to take down the carpet and the padding. This was the first one that I uncovered. But then, right, there's a big old split. This one's completely split through, and then that split through. I've been in this town for four days. I've been to Home Depot three times already, and I need to go again because I'm probably gonna need some more skim coating because I can see why that entire bucket was only $13 it's because you're gonna need a lot of it because it is like a putty and a little bit doesn't go a long way. yesterday and I wiped it off and I cleaned up as much as I could. It's honestly night and day. If you go like this and then you touch the part that I didn't do yet, it's just... It's funny how much smooth walls can just make you so happy. <laughs> I am beyond satisfied with how this turned out. I don't know how much you can actually tell. So this is how it was, like all of these little bubbles, if you can kind of see, bubble, bubble, bubble. And then I smoothed it out so it's nice and flat and it's so much better. Oops, I didn't rub that part off, but the garbage company came by today and dropped off a garbage can and a recycling can and I'm actually so excited. And that's really a weird thing to be excited about, but there you go. Homeowner excitement. If you ever do anything house related or to clean your car or anything, get a shop vac. My parents just got us this for a housewarming gift and it's already covered in dirt. But I cannot imagine doing all this without a shop vac. I used it all the time while I was in the Coast Guard and I'm getting flashbacks because when I first got out of boot camp, I was what you call a non-rate in the Coast Guard because I was an E3. The boat that I was stationed on um, right out of boot camp was actually in the shipyard. So this is what I did every single day pretty much until we got out of the shipyard was just sanding, painting, needle gunning, like all that stuff, like wearing the face mask, respirator, goggles, and I'm getting major throwback moments. And I'm, I gotta say, I'm kind of enjoying it. I actually enjoy being a non-right. 
not right. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm just going off on a weird tangent. Yay! Good morning! It is a Saturday. It's actually not morning, it's like noon. The kitchen appliances was going to be delivered today, but apparently there was a drawbridge that broke and the delivery truck couldn't make it this way. So it's coming on Tuesday instead. I have a mini fridge downstairs, so it's okay. I can't remember the last thing that I vlogged. It was probably something related to the kitchen. I'm thinking skim coating. I finished skim coating from right here, up there, and over here. Probably tell the difference, like right there, and there's like a line. So I need to finish that. I also need to get rid of the popcorn ceiling. It's only in this one area. So I skim coated it and I painted it all white. I probably had to do like three, maybe even four coats of paint just to cover up the brown. Because the original plans for today was to have the appliances dropped off somewhere between 11 and three o'clock. So I wanted to get out of the house before 11. I didn't want to start any new projects because then the house would be like a complete wreck. So I went out, I went to Big Lots, and this thing was only $5, and it's so cute. It has parsley, basil, and chives. What else? What else did I get? Oh, I also got... Let's go in here. So this is just my mess. I also just recently painted this. It was green, and we were thinking about putting a stack stone tile or possibly whatever, some other sort of tile, but for now, I just... Again, I did that like last night at 10 o'clock because I was kind of bored, but I just painted it white to for the heck of it. And the shelves are also, that was the color of the kitchen and I'm starting to paint. Um, so I got a mallet and oh, I got this little sanding bar because the only sandpaper I have is like this that sticks onto that for like the majority of the wall, but this is really good for corners. Oh, I got a plastic drop cloth. This was only a dollar, which was really surprising. And then I got a cloth one. And then I got another one of these buckets of the all-purpose um, joint compound. If you've ever gone to Home Depot, you picked up a five gallon thing of, even just, if you picked up a five gallon thing of water, you know it's heavy. Five gallon thing of paint, heavier because it's denser. This is basically a five gallon bucket of Play-Doh. Very, very thick Play-Doh. I'm really curious to see how much this weighs because it's so dang heavy. But I am proud of myself that I am able to lift it up into the cart and then lift it back out of the cart to put it into my trunk. I don't need a man. But realistically, I really wish my husband was here because it would have been easier. <laughs> I'm freaking born in this house, but I am glad that I did not bring Goober with me because with all of this chaos and constantly working and the smells, at least I can wear a respirator or a dust mask. I can't do that on my dog. And that just wouldn't have been fun for him. So I'm, I am glad that Goober is back in Florida with his daddy even though I miss them both and I'm so lonely. <laughs> what else? I think that's pretty much the entire update. <laughs>